again another monster day but we had no choice really we couldn't stay there another day so we came over the over the Salar Pass we ended up here in uh, Saldang and it was late when we got it and pitch black and this is the room I've got there's all my gear but this is the best bit look at it outside every single step's been worth it because look at this Look at this. That's how we had our dinner last night. And then look at this place. That's the pass we came from sometime yesterday afternoon. I think we're going to stay here today and sort their stuff out because there's been, been a lot of moisture involved, so it's all getting dried out today. This is the monastery at Salang. Look at this place. It's absolutely beautiful. I've just been inside before. But it's absolutely amazing. Look at this. Wow. Here's a little cheeky fella. Nasty! Yeah. What's your name? What's your name? I think it's harvest time because there's a lot of uh, chucking bales of straw around and stuff. And look at these lovely people here. Just there. We'll go and see what they're up to. There you go, one each. Not. You give us some more. out. Three pencils. chill day today and a bit of a rest so I'm sat here doing the old diary so he's having a sleep over there and we're in the uh, 
the grounds of this lovely house we're staying in. And these kids are running around. And all they're playing with is with a bit of straw and some mud. There's no iPads or nothing fancy toys to play with or not. A bit of soil and a few straws. And they're dead happy, they really are. I could stay here forever. Good morning, and this is good morning number two from Saldang. Because we had a bit of a rest day yesterday, because the previous three days were a bit bonkers. So we've, uh, we're all refreshed and ready to crack on. And we're going to somewhere down here. It's not a village, it's, a, it's someone's house that the lodge owner says he'll put us up for the night. So we're going to go down there, it's not too far. Ready for the big hop over the next pass. But look at this again here this morning. It's just as stunning as yesterday. Right, jam jam. So it's just done the old uh, permit checking with the police. And the, the police officer, he can't believe it. He said, how have you managed to get here through the past? He said, we're the first per people here in four weeks. I don't think there's going to be anybody after us neither because I can't see any of that snow melting. So we are the unique tourists. We are the only tourists, the only two in four weeks. And probably the last two till next year now. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, I really have come to somewhere where there's nobody else which is what I really want for most of my life and it's brutally true here it's just me and Sobi and that's it right off we go been a bit of a change of plan because we were going to go and stay at some house up there which has been described as a basic so the guy here at this lodge who describes it as luxurious and I don't doubt him because he's a very nice fella he's also very very funny he's also managed to try and negotiate for us no it's not cheating it's just making sure the job gets done we're going to get a horse to take care bags up to the top of the pass up there and then when we're up top of there it's just all downhill really all the way to the door to wrap so that's the plan for tomorrow right so where are we now is a rapper. Rapper. Now we're in rapper gown. Rapper, rapper, and say yeah. books under municipality. All right. And who's this chap? Yeah, hotel owner. Hotel yes. owner. My hotel name is, is Namdo Pema Hotel. Namdo Pema Hotel. Yes. Very popular in the city. Popular 
the one area. of the best hotel in it is the only in, one <laughs> yes only one Four thousand one hundred meters. at something gumper. We're having some yak curry. Look at this. Look at all this. And it's absolutely lovely. It really is. My first bit of protein in ten days. PlayStation, no fancy toys, just a bit of soil and a few stones. Happy as Larry they are. This is the luxury room at Rapper Gumper. Look at this. Me and Sub have got a choice of six beds to go at. <laughs> There's Sub in bed already at half past four. You're a bit tired, I think. <laughs> and look at this, this is my bed. Nice solid firm mattress. And look, I've got a pillar made out of sacks and oh I think there's a few stones in there looking forward to oh yeah that's what you want a nice firm mat mattress and pillar we've got to go to bed early tonight it's going to be an early start as is the case with passing the pass in Nepal, it means getting up silly early. Now we're up at half three, four o'clock. We've had some breakfast, and the amazing people at that lodge have packed us up a, a flask of soup and some bread. And I must confess, we've cheated again. We've hired a horse to take our bags up at the top. Because we've got to go a long way today, so we thought it would help us give us a bit of a boost. Otherwise, I don't think we'd do it actually. But anyway, the sun's coming up now, so it'll be time to undone all the clothes. Because as soon as that big yellow thing comes up, it's a different world here. It's about minus God knows what now. But as soon as it comes up, it's unbelievable. Let's go to my garage. Look, there's the beginning of the sun just coming up there. We're at Raku now, and the original plan was to stay there last night. But I'm so glad we stayed where we did. Because look at this place. This looks about as inhospitable as you can possibly think. I bet it must go down to about minus six million here at night time. And apparently, this house here, they'll put you up, but it's basic, basic. We've just come up this valley now, all the way up here. We're following some snow leopard footprints. Yep, and we're at 4,600 metres now. So we're having our breakfast, bit of a picnic. What's your name, sorry? Ben? What's his name? His name? Yeah. Come on, Punchok Lama. Lama. Punchok Lama. Punchok Lama. Punchok Lama. Come on, Jamie. He's our horse man. We've got Sorby. We've got some bread. Some chicken soup. Oh, bon appetit!
Now the one thing I've noticed about these Nepali passes, they have a sort of long gradual nice bit which sort of thinks, so you think to yourself, oh it's not too bad this and then you get to the bit where it's quite brutal and we're at the brutal bit now look because now not only have we got snow we've got to go along here up here and to there now I reckon that's not the top I reckon there's another top and another top on top of that because that's how it seems to work it's quite, they're quite cruel you think you get to the top and then it just gives you a little bit more and a little bit more right jam jam Just sitting down to let all the huffing and puffing calm down because that was a long slog coming up there it really was I think the magic number is about 4008 and that's when it gets really super hard and I thought this was the top you know what I said about having lots of false summits here we are again I thought we were at the top and look there's some more but theoretically it can't be any higher than that pointy bit because that's the mountain and the pass goes between mountains does that make any sense here we are at the top of another 5,000 meter pass that's three 5,000 meter passes in five days two in two days that's the Kangla, Selala and Kwangula whatever it's called god I can still do it this is incredible up here I mean look at this round here I'll take some photos <laughs> So that's it. Gravity takes over now. It's Jan Jan down for tea and biscuits and definitely Cheerborg. That was awesome coming up there. Jangla Pass. Jangla Pass. 5,310 metres. Yeah, well done. Thank you, thank, thank you very much to this man with his magic horse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Time to go. It's, it's jam jam. Jam jam time. Wow. I've seen lots of snow leopard prints today. I don't think they're that rare anymore. Farewell, very, very great memory, the Dolpa Trek. As a Dhotaraf, it's a very facilities village, it's a hotel owner, it's a hotel caravan. So hotel this, caravan, yeah. best hotel best. in Dolpa. the pass yesterday afternoon and we kept on marching down the valley and uh, we couldn't find anything to say at all and we kept on going and going in the in the dark and I went, when I say dark it was pitch black we have a place called Door to Wrap and we ended up here at the Hotel Caravan lovely people amazing hotel absolutely lovely people but look when, like I say when we got here it was pitch black you couldn't see a thing but we're walking up to all this Look at all this going on. I 
little villages, small mountains, and there's the hotel. So, we have a nice short day today because yesterday was 14 hours, including, including a pass. So, we're going to have a bit of a rest day today by walking down to. Well, let's go see how we can get really. walking down last night you couldn't really appreciate all this because it was well a bit dark really you couldn't see anything you could barely see me and never mind the flipping mountains but look at all this here but look I'm sure those locals think it's amazing and it will benefit them but they built a road up here which is a bit disappointing well not for them it is for me Perhaps he could have waited until I'd been and gone and then built the road, but that's progress. I'm looking forward to this one because look there's the raging river this is the bridge with no one rail ready slowly slowly oh nice one look at this this is what you call a well-maintained bridge This is not pleasant. Just having a bit of a stop because I'm getting a bit of vertigo going on. Right, here we go again, part two. I can't stay here all day. Oh! Oh, mother! in the accommodation unit we're now in the entertainment area and cooking area this is the kitchen and the well that's where everything happens in here really these guys are knocking up a bit of dalbat a bit of dalbat going on in here look that's the cooking going on so what's for tea tonight what's for tea tonight what's what's, what's for dinner dalbat and then mushroom curry mushroom curry Good morning. This is where we ended up last night in Naru Pani because it was getting a bit dark last night and the trailers that the, in this section of the uh, of the circuit are a bit well, precarious after coming down through uh, I'll call it Rockfall Valley. If you ever go down there, you'll see why. This is the place. Is it kitchen? A bit of a tent, and that's where I slept. It was really, really good. There's a few boys in there last night. We had a few few sherbets and some dongba and uh, yeah another great night and today we're going off that way now towards Darupani and then do you fall the day after and then back to Kathmandu
I'm going to name this section from Dotarap to Tarkot Rockfall Valley because all the way down here there's little piles of very freshly fallen rocks when we've just come down that bit and then it was just all moving up under my feet and then we've got to this bit here look I reckon that came down last night it looks that new it's very makes you very anxious walking along here it really does because all every now and again you can hear a bit of a ding ding a bit of a rock comes down and that's that on very recently I keep trying to explain this hopefully these pictures and videos will try and give you some idea of the enormity of this place we must come up them more long wrenching steps but the benefit of that is you do get to go down a bit but then you also get to see this I mean look at this there's the path that goes down here down here and look at all this going on wow So now, it's time for a bit of down, down, down. Because that was horrible coming up there first thing in the morning. It's not what you need. But I think it all finishes soon because around the corner, I think it all goes a bit more flat. Here's another terrifyingly exposed section. Look at this here. It goes along there. And here. I'm gonna sneak out to the edge. Look, it's that far down, you can't even see the bottom. If you fell off there, the next stop, Indian Ocean I reckon. Look at this. I was going to film it a little bit, but then concentrate quite a lot. And what I said about arm rails, they're not too keen, are they? Well, apparently, the bridge at Tarakot is down. So I'm mean, going a bit of a shortcut, which means more lung wrenching because the river down. is right down there again. But look at the view. It's almost worth coming up here. Look at this. I'll do a bit of walking. pass and it's quite dark now and there's all the lovely Himalayas there's the moon and uh, yep it's showing up and below us you can see all the little villages below and hopefully somewhere in that lot is a bed for me we ain't got a clue where we are but we suddenly bumped into a hotel in the middle of nowhere and 
these lovely people are going to hopefully put us up. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. So a bit well done. 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, right away. Well, we got in the dark again last night, but the beauty of that is you've really got no idea where you are. So let's see what's through the square window this morning. Let's see where we ended up. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, it's still a long way up. You can see look at all the villages on the hills, look. I think that's where we were actually heading, but obviously we didn't get there. So today, we're going to go down here, down there, up the valley to G Fall. And hopefully, if my man in Kathmandu was sorted out as a plane tomorrow, but I'm not that optimistic to be honest. Good morning. Well, today is the last day's walking from place un unidentified down to Dunai and then on to G Fall. And hopefully, we can get the plane tomorrow, but that's looking a bit doubtful. And it's a good job, really because my feet are pretty short I mean they're in a right mess I know what's caused it but I'll deal with that when I get home but if you want to come and do a pretty tough trek and see some amazing landscape and people you've got to do this one and you've got to do the full upper Dolpo trek it's been tough but it's been worth every single step it's just been fabulous really so on to Dunai we go Here we are, back in Dunai. I don't know how many days it's taken us. I have to sit there and look at I'm looking at my diary. But that was a fantastic, well not a trek, but an adventure really, in the upper Dolpo circuit. I mean there were some scary bits, but it made it all more interesting. But uh, if you watched the film, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I know I did, I was in it. But uh, yeah, that's it, the upper Dolpo circuit done. It's time for a sit down now. Good morning. Welcome to Teeny Tiny Plane Part 2. In a second we'll be getting on this thing here, yeah, which is not a plane. Then shooting down the runway over there. And somehow turning left before we hit that, hopefully. 